Hi, welcome to React with Jax. I'm Jax, and today I am reacting to Zootopia. I am so excited to see this movie. It's been on my watch list for quite some time, and a lot of you have been recommending this movie to me. You've said that I would really love it, considering I watch movies with my sheep friend, Lammy. And so I'm hoping that there is a sheep in this movie. I would be so excited. There is a surprising amount of sheep in movies, as we have all learned watching <laughs> movies together. There were sheep in the MCU that were in Ant-Man. There were sheep in the How to Train Your Dragon series, which I was very unprepared for. And I have to say, sheep are often treated very poorly in movies. If they're not a random background character in a grassy field, then they are usually either being eaten or killed. So I am really hoping that the sheep are not <laughs> treated terribly in this movie. I would love that. Just can the sheep get a win for once? Um, but I actually don't know what this movie is about. I saw a preview or like a trailer for this movie a long time ago. And all I really remember is that there were people, people, there were animals going to the DMV and there was a sloth working at the DMV, which I do have to say was pretty funny. So uh, I, at least I think that's this movie. So I'm very excited to see it. This has been a long time coming. Y'all have been wanting me to watch this, so I'm very excited. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next upload. And like this video if you enjoy this content because it really supports my channel and I appreciate it so much. All right, let's get started. Predators of an urge to maim and maul and... <laughs> Blood! Blood! <laughs> this is so intense for <laughs> child's play. Oh my God. Yeah. I love these high budget props. Catch up. They time, spelled vicious wrong. A move. Is that a sheep? I don't have to cower in a herd anymore. Instead, I can be an astronaut. An astronaut? Oh my God, we are clapping to that. That is so exciting. I'm gonna be an actuary. Good for you. Dream big. A police officer! That is the most stupidest thing I ever heard. It may seem Why? impossible to small minds. Small minds. Ho oh, ho. Can she talk that sassy to a fox without any repercussions? Thank you and good night. <laughs> Her parents. Is that your father means Bonnie honey, Hunt? It's gonna be difficult, impossible even, for you to become a police officer. Right. There's never been a bunny cop. Why can't a bunny be a police officer? We're changing the world. Yeah. One carrot at a time. Amen. Who that. is that? Carrot farming is a noble profession. I carrot farming sounds lovely. Great to have dreams. Yeah, just as long as you don't believe in them too much. Don't believe in your dreams? What is wrong with you? They cannot possibly be that happy. But <laughs> <If> they... <gasps> what are you gonna do? Cry? <laughs> her cut it out yeah cut it out and like you said in your dumb little stage play us predators used to eat prey and that killer instincts what do they eat now little baby bunny cry <gasps> you don't know when to quit do you <gasps> i'm so sorry i just choked you <laughs> oh my gosh Bad. Are you okay? J Bad. <laughs> he was right about one thing. I don't know when to quit. She could be good undercover if nobody's expecting her to be a police officer. You're gonna have to master all of them before you hit the streets. Oh, guess what? You'll be dead. I was not expecting that polar bear <laughs> to be so big with such a female voice. You can You're do it. Dead, you're dead. Enormous criminal. You're dead. dead, dead. dead. Lemmy, she's dead over and over again. How does she use? Oh. You're dead, fluff butt. Fluff butt. This movie, it's delightful. that the polar bear's happy for her. Ooh, 
look at you. Proud to announce that my Mammal Inclusion Initiative has produced its first Police Academy graduate. Who is that? We've heard this voice before on my channel. He was in um, Kung Fu Panda 3. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Mr. Simmons. Another mm. sheep! Look at her being amazing. That one looks like you, Lammy. Sign you to the heart of Zootopia. Precinct 1. City Center. <laughs> her parents. I would be worried too. You know, it's a, it's a real proud day for us little guys. Go with her, make room, will you? Come on. <gasps> he shoves her. You know what? Pretty much all predators and Zootopia is full of them. Oh, Stu. And foxes are the worst. Actually, your father does have a point there. We've already run into a fox. Gideon Gray? When I was nine, Gideon Gray was a jerk who happened to be a fox. I know plenty of bunnies who are jerks. Look at her defending people. Some snacks in there. This is fox deterrent. Yeah, what that's kind of snacks? This is fox repellent. Okay, the deterrent. And the re what kind of snacks, though? Oh, for goodness sake. She has no need for a fox taser, Stu. Oh, come on. When is there not a need? Why is it specifically a fox taser? <laughs> what about all the other predators? Are there tasers for them? Do you have to buy, like, a bear taser individually? Give him a hug. Yeah, Hello. they're your mom and dad. I love you guys. Love you, too. The animation is so wonderful. Oh, Stu. Pull it together. Bye, everybody! Bye. 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 Good luck in Zootopia. Oh, all the bunnies there cheering her along. Bunny burrow. <laughs> and the population just kept going up because bunnies multiply. Oh, are we going to get a musical montage? Oh, that's so cool. So the whole place has different lands, just like the police officer was talking about. Yeah, that's really cool. So I'm assuming that in this world, humans don't exist and that all of the animals have kind of evolved. I wonder how polar bears handle not being in their cold climate. I guess they would have to. So I guess some of these animals would kind of be limited. Fish town market. They eat fish in this movie? What do they eat? I think I might want to be in the rainforest area if I could pick one of these little towns to live in. Where would you all want to be? The hot climate, the cold climate, the rainforest, Zootopia. Out of all those places, the rainforest looked the coolest to me. This song is great. Shakira's doing a great job. Wow. Oh. Gosh, this place would have to accommodate so many different animals of different sizes. And so far, we're seeing a really cool way that they're doing that. Oh, hi. I'm Judy, your new neighbor. Yeah, well, we're loud. Don't expect us to apologize for it. Oh, that sucks. Crazy neighbors. I love it. <laughs> Girl, give it a few years. You're going to hate those neighbors. <laughs> Maybe not even a few years. Just give it a bad night's sleep when they're yelling shut up at each other. Uh, You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Just take it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? To take the pepper spray or to not take the pepper spray or the fox spray. Which way do I? Oh, bullpen's over there to the left. Great. Thank you. Oh. That poor little buddy's gonna get eaten alive. <laughs> well, he was nice. Not very optimistic, but nice. Officer Hops, you ready to make the world a better place? <clears throat> well, at least he gave you a little knuckle. All right, everybody sit. Eat your Elba. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine. Happy birthday. Francine. Happy birthday. We have 14 missing mammal cases. All predators from a giant polar bear to a teensy little otter. Hmm. Otters are considered predators? Well, I guess they eat fish. I don't actually know what otters eat. I was top of my class at the academy. Didn't forget, just don't care. <laughs> Sir, I'm not just some token bunny. Well, then writing 100 tickets a day should be easy. Just because there are missing people doesn't mean parking tickets don't still have to be given. As I'm saying that, I hate myself. 
Parking tickets suck. <laughs> I'm gonna write 200 tickets before noon. <gasps> no, don't give 200. Everyone's gonna hate you. Just be really nice to people. I had so much sympathy for her. You are giving people tickets the moment it expires. You should give someone like a teeny tiny little grace period. Ugh. I have not gotten a parking ticket in so many years. But it is just the worst feeling if you got one. 200 tickets before noon. 201. I appreciate that she follows her own rules. Is that sanitary? <laughs> My boy, this goofy little stinker, he loves all things elephant. Wants to be one when he grows up. Oh my God. We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. So beat it. You're holding up the line. Rude, rude. Why do they hate foxes so much? Are your customers aware they're getting snot and mucus with their cookies and cream? <laughs> Ugh. Of course, I could let you off with a warning if you were to finish selling this nice dad and his son a, a jungle pup. <laughs> he wants his little ice cream. Actually, it's gonna be a huge ice cream. <sighs> $15. $15? For a jumbo pop? How big is this jumbo pop? I don't have my wallet. <laughs> I'm sorry, pal. Gotta be about the worst birthday ever. Please don't be mad at me. It's his birthday? No, no. Oh, <laughs> look at the way he looks. He looks back. You paid for it? Oh, sweetheart. You're a real articulate fella. Ah, oh, well, that is high praise. It's rare that I find someone so non-patronizing. That was a little patronizing, wasn't it? <laughs> you want to be an elephant when you grow up? You be an elephant. Anyone can be anything. She is so sweet. All right, give her a little bye-bye toot toot. <laughs> oh my God. He's so cute. He's driving. You need to follow them, girl. No way. Get your popsicles. Because they're lemmings, right? They all follow each other. You reuse them and then make it all over again? Oh my god. Lumber delivery. What's with the color? The color? Uh, that's redwood. He? is very smart. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. And I'm not the liar. He is. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Permit, receipt of declared commerce, and I didn't falsely advertise anything. Red wood with a space in the middle. Wood that is red. Oh my God, he's brilliant. Everyone comes to Zootopia thinking they can be anything they want. Well, you can't. Is he from Zootopia or did he come here wanting to be something else too? Judy, are you a feeder mate? It's the safest job on the force. Oh, she's not a real cop. Our prayers have been answered. Glorious. No. They're so worried for her. That'd be really tough being a parent in this situation. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, but it might be worse. <laughs> they could hear that. They could hear her whisper to herself. That's an apartment that sucks. Oh. Hey, be the man. Wait for the real cops. How are the real cops supposed to go into that little teeny tiny place, though? You'll kill everyone. <gasps> you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I need to look up the cast. This cast is mousies. love your hair. Thank you. Oh. Isn't some cartoon musical where you sing a little song and your insipid dreams magically come true? But wouldn't that be so cool if it was? 
a magical you <laughs> a magical musical my husband has been missing for 10 days there's got to be somebody to find my m this is auto i will find him jason bateman you're jennifer goodwin what? what why just heard officer hops is taking the case <gasps> That's just a mad bellwether. The Mammal Inclusion Initiative is really starting to pay off. <laughs> a sheep for the win. You've always got a friend at City Hall, Judy. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. Thanks, Who is she? Well, it seems like a you problem. Yeah. So Jennifer Goodwin is hops. To find but you strike out, you resign. Ah, that's it. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. Bad deal. Okay. Why? Why would you say yes to that? There's no upside in saying yes to that. You could just be like, no, if you want to get rid of me, you have to fire me and that'll piss off the mayor. J.K. Simmons. That was Octavia Spencer. And that was Bonnie Hunt. Yeah. Okay. Kristen Bell? Is Priscilla? We're going to find Chris Priscilla. Who's Priscilla? Actually, it's Officer Hops, and I'm here to ask you some questions. Now I hear Jennifer Goodwin's voice. Couldn't figure out who she was. Ha! I make 200 bucks a day, Fluff. 365 days a year since I was 12. You're rich. You are under arrest. Huh, for what? Hooding your fee wings? Felony tax evasion. <gasps> no, no, no. 200 bucks a day, Fluff. 365 days a year since I was 12. Actually, it's your word against yours. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of flies. Are flies not a part of this Zootopia world? What about insects? Are insects part of it? <laughs> yes, <I'm> a man. <laughs> How do you play volleyball against the giraffes? You didn't happen to catch the license plate number, did you? Oh, for sure. It was too <laughs> This guy's got like the best memory I've ever seen. How do you remember Eliza's plate number from a car a week ago? I can't run a plate. Oh, I'm not in the system yet. You can't even run a plate. I just remembered I have a pal at the DMV. Oh, this is the DMV scene that I saw in the um trailer years ago. On the clock and every minute counts. <laughs> now <laughs> every minute They're counts. All that would make sense. <laughs> she <laughs> every minute counts. Oh, you're very slow, sir. Could you could you be faster though? You can't. You can't be faster. Oh my god. Buddy, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. <gasps> hmm. What? Hang in there. Can I? Do. Well, I was hoping you could run a plate for you. Well, I don't rush him. What's the plate? Two nine T number. number. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two <gasps> nine. The creaking of the chair. It's just like T. Mm hmm. HD zero three. H D zero three. Oh my God, girl, you need to chill out. Shh, just relax. It's gonna go zero. as fast three. as it goes. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? No. <gasps> You're so mean. What do you call a three-humped camel? Pregnant. <laughs> That's actually a good joke. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, he laughs uh, slow too. <laughs> on the hey. Wait, wait, wait. Priscilla. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Kristen Bell. What? <gasps> Do. No. You call. I'm free of Pregnant. A, a limo to Goderton. It's in Tundra Town. Way to hustle, bud. I love you. I owe you. Hurry. We gotta beat the rush hour in. It's night. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a bummer. You wasted the day on purpose. Madam, I have a fake badge. I have a fake badge. And I have a Dumbo. So that's pretty much as good as a badge. What is your problem? Does seeing me fail somehow make you feel better about your own sad, miserable life? 
It does, 100%. <laughs> Oh. The thing is, you don't need a warrant if you have probable cause, and I'm pretty sure I saw a shifty lowlife climbing the fence. Wow. She's clever, but she's kind of mean. But it's for a good cause, and I guess he's a shady character. This is a very reluctant duo. I know whose car this is. We gotta go. The most feared crime boss in Tundra Town. They call him Mr. Big, and he does not like me. So Why doesn't he like you? <gasps> Raymond! And is that Kevin? Long you know them? Oh gosh, no. I may have sold him a very expensive wool rug that was made from the fur of a skunk's butt. That must have been a very big skunk's butt. Or a very small rug. Is that the rug? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Simple mm. yep. Yep. Mm. <sighs> How did he get in charge? He's so small, so the runk would have been the rug would have been big. Intimidate me all you want. I'm going to find out what you did to that otter if it's the last thing I Girl, do. you're not supposed to tell the villains your plan. I thought. Oh, I, 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 I didn't see nothing. I'm not saying nothing. And you never will. Please. Oh my goodness. What did we say? No, I think you won at my wedding. She's the bunny that saved my life yesterday. The donut. I will help you find the otter. Okay. <laughs> oh, we get to go to the wedding, Lammy. Judy Hop, CPD. We just want to know what happened to Emmett Otterton. Why wouldn't you say you were sent by Mr. Big? Uh, Teensy Otter did that? He was an animal. You lost your eye? Da oh no, oh no. He just kept yelling about the Night Howlers. The Night Howlers are exactly what we are here to talk about. He would actually make a good member of her team. He could be like an undercover agent for her. Oh, he still has Run. his eye. Run. Why is he? Oh, maybe he contracted something from the scratch. Is this like a disease or a sickness or something spreading throughout Zootopia? That would be an interesting storyline. Officer Hobson, dispatch. Are you familiar with Gazelle? Greatest singer of our lifetime, angel with horns. An angel with horns. Jaguar gone savage. Mine into Junja. Okay, we're sending back up. Ah. Ah. Oh no. Carrots, you saved my life. Maybe this reluctant duo is going to become a non reluctant duo. You have captured yourself. You captured yourself. Tops, animals don't go savage. They could get rabies, maybe. Till I saw this. An empty talk. <laughs> Badge. Hmm. Sir, we Badge! I think this reluctant friendship just became reluctant. Wait. <laughs> you gave her a, a, a clown vest and a three wheeled joke mobile in two days to solve a case. You guys haven't cracked in two weeks? Good point. You gave her the 48 hours, so technically we still have 10 left to find our Mr. Otterton. Oh, I loved that. Never let them see that they get to you. Things do get to you? Yeah. Was joined the junior Ranger Scouts. Oh, my mom scraped together enough money to buy me a brand new uniform. That's so cute. No, no, what did I do wrong, you guys? No, please tell me what did I do wrong? What did I do? What the hell? That's horrible. Gosh. I never thought that in this world predators would be discriminated against too. If you didn't have access to the system before, I doubt Chief 
Buffalo Bud is gonna let you into it now. But I have a friend at City Hall who might. Wow, so foxes, they're not liked by predators and they're not liked by prey, so they don't fit in anywhere. That would be so hard to be a fox because you would just become a product of what other people assume you are because you have no other options. Like, you're just constantly fighting against the system. This is a very interesting film. It's a lot more layered than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> a little up to. <laughs> it's so fluffy. Just touch a sheep's wool. It's like candy. Stop it. Where to? Uh, she can't feel it. <laughs> oh, one more of a glorified secretary. I think Mayor Lionheart just wanted the sheep boat. But he did give me that nice mug. World's greatest dad. You think when she goes to sleep, she counts herself? Oh, shush. Lammy, answer the question. Bet you a nickel one of them's gonna howl. And there it is. I mean, what? Maybe they're just making the motion. Maybe they're not actually doing it. Howlers! Night howlers! Where does that road go? I would not know. Cliffside? What's cliffside? I'm gonna guess it's by the side of a cliff, but um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm loving this duo. They're so great together. And look at the Timberwolves. Even though they're villains, they're very cute and fluffy. Gary, quit it. You're gonna start a howl. I didn't start it. <gasps> Gary. Oh, Gary. You are a clever bunny. Ah, she's no longer cute. Now she's clever. You're moving up in this world. Hops. It's a kid's movie, but I don't care. You know after you. You're the <laughs> I'm still gonna be a little afraid. <laughs> Oh my god, is this an experimentation All room? Clear. This is terrible. I don't like this. Huh. All this equipment is brand new. Oh, I didn't put that together. Claw marks. Yeah, huge, huge claw marks. I mean, what kind of- God! Oh my god! I ripped out my headphone! <laughs> Okay, it's a kid's movie. <sighs> you doing okay? You're supposed to keep me safe. Okay, I need to get a little uninvested in this film. Or <laughs> not. Is someone creating like an army or something like that? I can't, why else would they? Chief Fogo handed out 14 missing mammal files. Oh. They're all here. All the missing mammals are right here. That's not enough of an army, though. Enough! I don't want excuses, Doctor. I want answers. Mayor Lionheart. It may be time to consider their biology. What? What do you mean, biology? Oh. Chief Bogo doesn't know, and we are going to keep it that way. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? So, okay, I was wrong. It's some kind of a medical problem. And this is some kind of like disease or something and it must just be spreading to them. Like the otter scratched that guy's eye and then he must have contracted what happened. I mean, the disease. Clawhouser. This is a really good story. The missing mammal cases? Uh, Officer Hops just called. She found all of them. It's like this society is very precarious, you know? Everything could topple over if people lose trust in one another. We still don't know why this is happening. It could destroy Zootopia. Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, look at him. 14 mammals went missing and all 14 have been found. Can you fix them though? It would be nice to have a partner. Oh, you could be a grown up ranger. You should erase that. So predators are the Sheep. only ones going stabbed. Sheep. That is accurate. Yes, that is accurate. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. May have something to do with biology. What do you mean by that? No, don't yes. elaborate. What I mean is. No, 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 no. Thousands of years ago, 
uh, predator. Gosh, the imagery behind her is great. Have you considered a mandatory quarantine on predators? Okay, thank you, Officer Hops. Uh, that's all the time that we have. No more questions. Good for her, stepping in there. These predators may be reverting back to their primitive, savage ways? I yeah. just stated the facts of the case. Those aren't facts, though. Fox repellent? Yeah, I don't think I didn't notice that little item the first time we met. Wow. You think I might try to eat you? <gasps> well, I wasn't scared that time, but considering how scared I was earlier, I shouldn't make fun of her. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best if you don't have a predator as a partner. This concept that prey have never done anything wrong or that their original personalities are totally fine and that predators had to evolve in order to coexist with the prey is a very interesting concept. We don't know why these attacks keep happening, but it is irresponsible to label all predators as savages. Yeah, it doesn't make sense that they're reverting back to their biological nature because there's no reason why he would be a danger to his own family. It's not my image. Yeah. You tell him, Octavia. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put Lammy down. This is just too much. <laughs> Come on, Hops. The new mayor wants to see us. The mayor? Why? The new mayor? I don't understand. Well, our city is 90% prey, Judy, and right now they're just really scared. She's the mayor? Stupid. And so that's why Chief Bogo and I want you to be the public face of the ZPD. With all due respect, sir, a good cop is supposed to help the city, not tear it apart. I don't deserve this badge. Hops. Wow. Judy. She's so tough on herself. I like her morality, though. I'm fine. You are not fine. Your ears are droopy. Well, she's wearing a hat, so. Speak of the devil, right on time. Is this that fox from Is a long time ago? Gideon Gray? Gideon Gray. He's our partner, and we never would have considered it had you not opened our minds. I mean, Gid's turned into one of the top pastry chefs in the tri boroughs you bake i'd just like to say i'm sorry i had a lot of self-doubt and it manifested itself in the form of unchecked rage and aggression oh my god <laughs> don't you run through that mindy camp from holly sepias now there's a four dollar word mr h my family i would just call them night howlers yeah terry ate one hole when we were kids and went completely nuts you put the dickens out of your mother what Night howlers aren't wolves. They're flowers. They're flowers? The flowers are making the How did nobody know that these flowers were dangerous? Well, her parents knew. Horrible friend. And I hurt you. And you, and you can walk away knowing that you were right. <laughs> She's so upset. I really am just a dumb bunny. Oh, how do you not forgive her? Come on. I really am just a dumb bunny. Don't worry, carrots. I'll let you erase it in 48 hours. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, You're so emotional. <laughs> are you just trying to steal the pen? Are you just trying to steal the pen? <laughs> you are standing on my tail. Oh, 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 this is such a good movie. This is so good. What's your plan? We are gonna follow the night howlers. How did she not know that her family uses night howlers to keep bugs away? Is that what they said? And I ain't talking, rabbit. And there ain't nothing you can do to make me. I son. Why are you helping her? She's a cop. And the godmother to my future granddaughter. Oh. I stole them night howlers so I could sell them. And to whom did you sell them? A ram named Doug. We got a drop. A ram. Judy's always been such a rule follower. Now she's resorting to mafia tactics to get people to speak. It did not dawn on me when he said it's a ram. Lammy? 
That's a sheep. Uh-oh. And now there's a sheep as a mayor. Oh no. Oh no. Cheetah in Sahara Square. Got it. Serious? Yeah, I know. Listen, I hit a tiny little otter through the open window of a moving car. What? Oh god, why? Why is this movie so weirdly scary? I thought it was the scratch. He shoots them, so it's not... So if someone's infected, they don't necessarily give it to somebody else. They have to be shot. Wow. You guys gotta watch out. You could get shot. Carrots, you need to get this information and share it to people. Oh my gosh. The sheep. The sheep are the villains. Okay, all I have to say is that I'm not upset about this. You know what I'm saying? Like, the sheep are always getting made fun of, getting eaten by dragons, getting killed by Darren from the MCU. A sheep! Lemmy, look! It's you! Oh no, they're gonna shrink the sheep. They're gonna sh I thought we were using mice. What's the difference? This is our origin story, people. It's our villain origin story. I am curious to know if the sheep in the mayor's office well, is in on it. Cross that out. Like if she, if she's just like a good friend of Judy's who represents like the good sheep. Oh, keep going! No, no, please stop! Do not stop this car! Don't you dare hurt the sheep! Oh my god! Oh my god! Even if they're villains, we're still rooting for them, Lammy. Come on! Did you get the evidence? Did all the edit evidence just blow up? Yeah, maybe some of the evidence survived. Oh, oh, okay. Nope. Oh, except for this. <gasps> oh, yes! Ow. Come on! Whammy, they're trying to put the sheep in jail. We are not here for that. I've been on their side this entire time. Judy! Mayor Pellweather! Are they good or bad? Maybe her associates are bad. You did just a super job. Thank you, ma'am. No, she's a villain. She's a villain. She, I'll yeah. I'll take that case. <gasps> I will just take this to the ZPD. Uh-oh. Lammy! Run. Run. Get them. Oh my gosh. The sheep are taking their power back. Oh, but we don't want Judy to be hurt. Okay. I am very pro the story. <laughs> I never would have thought that the sheep would get revenge on all the movies where they have been treated poorly. We're on the same team, Judy. Underestimated, underappreciated. I agree. I agree with everything you're saying. Yes, we are sick of it. How can a sheep run faster than the fox? I didn't know you could run that fast. What are you going to do? Kill me? No, no of course not. <laughs> he is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. She can't run away because her leg is hurt. <laughs> this was a good turn of events. I mean, not for carrots. But for my entertainment. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, oh, are, are you looking for the serum? Well, it's right here. Well, you've gotten the weapon there? Those are blueberries. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're blueberries. My word against yours. Ooh. Actually. And I'll dart every predator in Zootopia to keep it that way. That was brilliant. That was so brilliant. I love that they brought like the play from the beginning. Oh, don't hurt her. Mind bars today, guilty of masterminding the savage attacks that have plagued. Do you hear that? You're a mastermind. We all knew it. Did I falsely imprison those animals? <laughs> He's well, answering yes. his own yes, questions. <laughs> Good news, doctors say the night howler antidote is proving effective in rehabilitating the afflicted predators. 
Oh, good. So once they learned out what was causing it, they could fix it. I love that they brought back the play from the very beginning into how they were going to defeat the villain, or I should say the wrongfully treated sheep. She's not really a villain. She's more of a mastermind. Real life is messy. We all have limitations. We all make mistakes, which means, hey. Oh, he gets his job back. And the more we try to understand one another, the more exceptional. I will totally take a donut. Please and thank you. From the biggest elephant to our first fox. <laughs> Lammy! Try to make the world a better place. Look inside yourself. Nicholas P. Wild. Change starts with you. Change it starts, starts with you. Me. It starts with mm. all of us. All right, all right, enough. Shut it. <laughs> This is so cute. I love this movie. Sir, you were going 115 miles per hour. I hope you have a good explanation. Nick. <laughs> oh my God, this movie is so good. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, she'll get out of jail one day. She'll get out. Is there, is there a Zootopia number two where the sheep get their revenge again? That would be really cool. Wow, so that was Zootopia. That was wonderful. I loved that movie. I was expecting this movie to be amazing, but this was way better than even I thought it was going to be. And now I know why all of you said that I had to watch this movie. The sheep will get their revenge and they will take over Zootopia. I am already writing the villain comeback story here for Zootopia 2, if there's not already a Zootopia 2. And let me tell you, the sheep will rule the day. This is pretty cathartic, must say. Especially after watching the sheep get experimented on in Ant-Man and get eaten by dragons and how to train your dragon. <laughs> Oh, this was so much fun. I loved it. The jump scares were getting me. This movie was <laughs> a little bit scarier than I was expecting because of those jump scares. I loved all of the friendships. I loved the way that they handled the discrimination and the prejudice in this movie. It was still really lighthearted while at the same time having a really important message behind it. It was very, it was a very relatable story. I felt like a lot of young kids would definitely be able to understand these themes. They were very beautifully spelled out. And at the same time, it was such a hopeful movie and really, really um, leaned into that concept of friendship and developing good relationships with people and having that be more important than like initial prejudices. It was phenomenal. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know why so many animals in this story were hating on foxes. I guess it's because they're considered to be sly and mischievous, but I wouldn't have originally thought going into this that the larger predatory animals would have a problem with foxes because wouldn't bears potentially eat a fox if they were really hungry? I mean, it seemed like foxes were kind of in between prey and predator. There were quite a lot of animals that kind of fit in the middle of the food chain, and they were kind of only focusing on the animals that were vegetarians to consider them the prey and prey only, whereas like there were a ton of predators in there that were kind of in the middle. I guess the lions would be at the top of the food chain and the polar bears, but I'm not really sure where everybody else falls. It was really cool seeing how they like created this world. I'm assuming insects were not a part of it and we didn't see any fish. There was a fish market. Like what did they eat? We saw them eating popsicles. Did we see them eating anything else? I don't know. So there were definitely some parts of this movie where I was like, I'm curious as to how it actually functions and how people like 
eat food? How do all of the different animals get their nutritional needs met? I don't know. That was really, that was, that was a, a little bit of a question mark. But that being said, I still really liked it. I would like to see more about this world. I hope there's a Zootopia too. That would be really awesome. And that DMV scene, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that DMV scene was absolutely brilliant. Loved it. The creators of this movie did a wonderful job. This was an absolute 10 out of 10. I loved the sheep villain arc going on here. This was, I feel like my entire channel has basically just been a sheep villain origin story at this point with all of the death and destruction that various sheep have had in different movies we have watched. And so <laughs> as a result of that, I was very pro seeing that the sheep were the villains in this. And, uh, I do kind of hope that the sheep come back in a second movie and continue to be the villains or at least help the new villains or something like that. I don't know. I, I just loved this movie so much that I want to see a second one. I hope they made a second one. This was so much fun and I really appreciate you recommending this movie to me. I loved it, especially now that the sheep are the masterminds. Yes! And so thank you so much. I hope you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next upload. And like this video if you enjoy this content, it really supports my channel and I appreciate it so much. And Lammy and I will see you all next Friday. Bye.